I'm, I'm really sorry about this. Brandon? You will die for a good cause. Maybe we can get it back to you? Post it? I am here to help. So we've made it to Theta. So far, so good. I can't really say it's been a picnic, Steve. You should try reading from that data buffer. Strasky, wake up, talk to Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The lab sure did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Komarabi and the others? This is all we got. The guess is still at Delta. Emma, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. Alright, see you soon. Looks like Aker's arrived here in very bad shape. I guess the others didn't make it. They must have been killed by either him or the WoW. Another buffer to read. This thing on? Can everyone hear me? Go ahead, Strom. Listen up. All members of staff, the odd project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, sir. Uh, all right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. So after the scan, people have been killing themselves. I can kind of understand it in a sick way. How depressing. Wow, that's some door. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this. That's so loud, the wow's gonna know where we are. It doesn't matter, sir. He is probably already inside. Take a while, there's a lot of water in here to pump out. Do you think that camera's watching us? Maybe the red light means that it is turned off. Okay, let's hope so. Okay, so at least the power is on.
Looks like you could talk to the well from this terminal. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. I wonder where they keep the dung bat. Do you mean the dung bat, Simon? Yeah, it's kind of silly name, isn't it? The letters must stand for deep undersea something or other. Machine hanger control. Are you here? We're here. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. Can't we just use a regular submarine or something else? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. So if the only one is here, how did they move the Ark? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. So that's why you need to use those power suits. Catherine, I just wanted to ask you about what is it like inside the Ark? Is it, is it like a VR game? Or? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So do the people walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. I believe that it is self-sufficient. Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. Sounds like how you'd imagine heaven. An eternity somewhere without any death. Taking all these people with us out of this horrible place, it sounds almost... Heroic. Surely a most noble cause. Here we go. The Dunbat. Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong now? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. Is that bad? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Just great. Now I've got to go around and see if I can find someone. Hmm. Sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. I think finding somebody alive could be unlikely. Maybe it will be quicker to find out on a computer. Well, everything looks operational. Okay, let's check out the map. That must be where we are. What are all these black box beacons? Most of them are on the lowest level. Why abandon the gate? In the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. Maybe the crew all went down there to escape from the WoW. There was a large crew here. Most of them are either missing or deceased. Oh look, Catherine's surname is Chun. Technicians, engineers, managers. These are the guests from the other sites. Let's go and explore this place. Let's see what's behind door number one. Yep, that looks creepy. And door number two. An even creepier staircase. Why would they all leave this floor? Well, we're going to find out. Thanks, Dromario. That's a real helpful report. Be quiet. The proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanations anywhere. Ah, oh, shit. Sounds like a warning. God, what's happening down there? I really don't want to go down there if I don't have to. It looks very dangerous. 
It looks like the staircase is broken. Once we go down there, I don't know if I can get back up again. What's so interesting downstairs? Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Well, whatever it is, I'm not in a hurry to go down there. I got a bad feeling about this. You've got a bad feeling. You should be me wandering about out here. is a hiding place. Maybe they wanted to keep close to the show station in case something went wrong. Did you give it a rest? I told you I'm not going down there. I'm just worried about my colleagues. Maybe later. Just felt like someone was behind me. This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. My scan was the first. I had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Oh, so this is how you remotely pilot one of those robots. But I haven't seen any pilots. Made me the well. Transferred the scans into the robot so that they would survive. Ah, I see. Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. This says Legacy Scans, Nankomp, Berg, Munchie, and me. First one was captured March 12, 2014. Now this looks like David Munchie's partner, Paul Berg. Maybe I'll run into these guys again. I'll give them a piece of my mind. Looks like Paul Berg did Munchie's scan. Compressed Nakajima Neurograph continuous time 4 minutes or is that milliseconds? That's a very short amount of time to capture a whole lifetime. So why have they kept my records on here? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. Looks like you were one of the very first scans. That's it. Is that it? It's very quick and painless. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... Okay, so now we have enough data, how are we going to go forward? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. That's really great. Now I have a plan, something I can try. Thank you. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Ah, oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Yeah, what was the first thing again? Don't worry, it's really not. We're going to keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. That sounds good. I, I had a plan of treatments. Maybe I went on and led a, a happy life. 
The model was sound. It should have worked. You mean the treatment won't work? I really wish things had turned out differently. I was supposed to save you. I guess at least I helped with your research. Maybe you can do some good with my data. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Yeah, that's fine. Well, at least a part of me will live on. You know, the past few months I felt really excited. I've been making plans. I felt really hopeful. Like I've been given a second chance. But now, after today, all those plans have disappeared. And now, what does my life mean? My chance is gone. In a way, I don't feel so bad now that I know that I, I didn't go on. I didn't make it, Stephen. But what were these scans used for? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So they use these scans to, as templates to make artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So that's how I got here. I was just waiting on a server somewhere to be put into a robot and activated. Who acted? Was that you, Steam? Did you activate me? Yes, Simon, and I said before I needed your help for the mission. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Comrade killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. So some of the crew have been committing suicide, believing that they'll get onto the Ark somehow, thinking that their physical body will die and their digital soul will live on. Unable to connect to mainframe. Please reset router in sub-level vault or contact maintenance. I knew it. I just knew it. The most dangerous place around here and we have to go down there. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Hmm, looks really homey. Check another terminal in case there is connection here. Uh, let's face it, we're gonna have to go down there. Oh, how I wish I'd held on to that stun baton. This is where I would store the ARC scans. Are these like my legacy scan? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense, less dynamic. Uh, yeah, it must have been early days with the scan. Please tell me that's rust and not gooey congealed blood. The coast is clear. So we were talking about these legacy scans. It's a template that has an intelligence pathwork already etched into the base. So if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. So are there other Simons like me walking around this station? What? No, Simon, don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. 
or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines, thinking they are people, is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. God, I thought my bathroom was dirty. I guess if it came down to it, we could hide in this toilet. Maybe this is a good time to use the toilet. Looks like something very strong forced these elevator doors open. And where's the elevator? So aren't you worried that there's other Simons and Catherines wandering about this base? Now I am. Geez, Simon. Some thoughts are better left alone. Yes, but you are the only Simon who has a Steven inside. Yes, lucky old me. Wow, this is a long corridor. Crew quarters. This one's got a seal on the door. Hey, that's Myra. Oh, are you watching this on the cameras? Hey look, looks like her journal. This is Private Simon, maybe you shouldn't read it. Yeah, but we might find out some more about Catherine. June 6th, 2103. Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW. But more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way. Like someone had specifically created it for the WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. Akers was still on Delta playing chess so it wasn't his work. June 4th, 2103. After dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction except for one point. Where my capsule houses flat people constructed from model neurographs, the vivarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content from the originating brain scan read emerged. The read inside the vivarium was a perfect copy. So this capsule project, do they mean the Ark? Yes, it became the Ark project. June 21st, 2103. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that holds every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the vivarium, but I can replicate WoW's scanning technique using the pilot seats. They are already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. June 22nd. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect the WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. So that's why we've been running into these machines that think they're people. It's the WoW, it's been putting these scans into the robots. July the 3rd. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. July 12th. 
Mark Sarang killed himself after his scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments amongst the staff and apparently it's my fault somehow. Stroheimer is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. Maybe the well was trying to preserve human life. Maybe it doesn't have any morals, and it doesn't understand philosophy. An artificial intelligence that is only logical. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Catherine, I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down quickly, causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, know there is no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you to all do the same and join me inside the Ark. Sincerely, Mike Sarang. I can see he enters the Ark in a way, but... Oh, this stuff messes you up. It's just like Star Trek. How do you mean, Simon? Well, when they go into that transporter and beam down... Hypothetically, they would have to destroy the body into atoms and then collect the data. Yes, they, they digitize you and then they reconstruct you somewhere else. But to do this, they kill you first. The number of times they've been transported in those episodes, well, they must have died hundreds of times. Point is, there's no continuity or carryover from one to the other. This is a classified message from Carthage, March 7th, 2102, to Mark Sarang, intelligence analyst Theta. Pathos 2. Mr. Sarang, the company is very pleased to hear of your success in making the WOW a station-wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer and study the WOW from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WOW is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. Supervisory Board. Playing a dangerous game developing this AI. Once it became self aware, it would not want to be turned off. And the nature of identity. I wish I had time to read this. Questions about the self who are you? And what does it mean to be human? Maybe this is how Sarang got his philosophy. I guess everyone is going to ponder the meaning of their existence. Yes, but after, say, 100 years living on the Ark, they would no longer be preoccupied with the past. Yeah, I guess you're right. That would be normal. Everything would be normal to, to live forever. I don't think they'll even need to sleep, will they? They would not have physical bodies, so they would not become tired. With an eternity to spend and no sleep, I could achieve anything. I could learn anything. Or my new self could. I would be free to study the cosmos for an eternity. I kind of understand their philosophy, but this is barbaric. Looks like he cut his own throat. Well, I've seen enough. Let's go back to Catherine. The laboratory terminals have lost contact with the mainframe. We need to reset the router downstairs. Yeah, we've seen the messages. I hope that we won't be horribly murdered. 